Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been so long, but you guys are just like my best friend. We don't talk in a while, but when we do, it's like we never stop talking. So, I mean like, I, you guys have to understand, like I have a toddler, when, a one-year-old toddler. I don't even know if that's considered a toddler, but whatever. Well, like kind of, like she's walking. It's a toddler. It's still a baby. I mean, she's still a baby, but it's considered, I don't know, whatever. She's walking now, um, so I'm pretty much busy all the time. When she's not with me, I'm like hurrying up to do everything I can't do when I'm with her, including eat because I can't eat when I have her. Um, so yes, that's what has been going on. And this last weekend, Lalo came to visit for five days. It was a really long, great vacation. And I didn't want to film that vacation because, I don't know, I just wanted to enjoy every moment of it. Like, it just, I wanted to be as intimate as possible. So, whatever, let's just get right into my video. I know it's kind of like random for this video, but I feel like this is what I want to talk about today. So my topic is, I hope you guys enjoy the topic, um, and if not, well, leave your suggestions in the comments down below because maybe I should talk about something you'd enjoy, so comment down below if you didn't enjoy this topic and want another topic. So my topic is dealing with a one-year-old by myself and a long distance relationship and school and just trying to find myself that's my topic okay so my i have a couple points but i'm just gonna go like through them as i think about them so my first topic is gonna be the long distance relationship and how i deal with taking care of sophia with no help so Okay, he is in Kentucky, and it's one of those long distance relationships where, like, how would I put this? Like, it's long distance, but yet we still see each other. So, we still see each other, like, every month or so, but we're used to seeing each other every single night, every single day, every single morning every single afternoon, all the time. So it's definitely hard. Um, I personally and he personally doesn't have any other acquaintances. So basically we are each other's partner, family, acquaintance, friend, best friend, anything you can think of. So him being so far away is so hard on me, especially because, I mean, I am in my home city my hometown or like and I only have two choices I either go out with my baby by myself all the time which is super hard for you moms you guys know that shit is hard like stroller diaper bag you can't pay in peace everything is so hard but it's doable of course so my, my one of my choices is going by myself with her wherever I want to go to um, my second choice is just staying at home I cannot stay at home. I can always stay at home for about an hour before I start going crazy. Like, I just want to do stuff all the time. I want to be out. And that's just who I am. Like, it really, it's, I've always just been like this. So that's definitely hard. Like, I used to always wait for him to get home so we can go anywhere because I did need his help. So that's, that's a hard part. And it was always good to have him by my side wherever we went. We just kind of like could connect everywhere we went. I could be like, oh my god, remember this, remember that. And it's like a connection everywhere we went and I have someone to talk to. She doesn't talk, guys, so it's super hard. Kind of just, okay, so my camera did stop recording uh, because I it was full on memory. So I'm just going to continue where I thought I was. So, um... Cause I kind of lost my train of thought. I was just like grooving, you know, and I lost it. So I'm just gonna start all over. Not all over, but wherever 
my mind is at so so yeah it's hard being a parent by myself um i do have two little sisters and they do help me once in a while but there's some like um they never want to go out they always have a problem with everything so i just really stopped asking them to go anywhere and that's when i started like really feeling everything i felt it before and yes i miss him a lot like he works so much i can't like just like pick up the phone and call him at whatever time i want the time different is three hours ahead over there so everything is just so hard um there's times where I'm like, there's places where I won't go without him. Even I know that sounds funny to some of you guys, but like, I hardly ever eat out. And part of it is because he's not here. Like, I don't know, like I crave so much junk food all the time. Food that we would always eat together, only eat together. And because that is my only friend, like I would only eat with him. So like, for example, Raisin Cane's. I can't go there without him, guys. Like, even if I'm in the area, I cannot go there without him. It just doesn't feel right. Um, like, there's just so many other things. Buffalo Spot is so hard to go to as well. I haven't been there unless it was with him. Um, I don't know, it's just stuff like that. And so yeah, the second topic is Sophia. Sophia and her relationship with her father. That's definitely a conflict because I feel like although she's little, she doesn't, she's not like dumb. Like she knows that her dad isn't here. She knows her dad hasn't came home in a while. And I feel like it's a tease to her. And I'm not sitting here bashing him or anything. Don't take anything of this that way. I'm just saying it that that it's like um, part of a long distance relationship with when there's kids involved, no matter how little they are, they feel it. They definitely feel it. Like, I know she knows that her dad is gone. I know she feels it. There's times where she gets super fussy and I just pick up the phone and if he answers and she hears his voice, she will stop. Like, it's like she was, there was never anything wrong with her because she knows his voice she knows who he is and it he she needs him in her life and far away is just simply not enough for her because she's too little to understand what is going on but she does know that he's not around so that's definitely hard to see um there has been a number of times where she'll cry for him over a picture, over the phone, and that's definitely really hard to see. Um, so basically, just all of that. Using, and I think the hardest for me is also on the weekends. Like, I feel like weekends are so tough for me. Like, they're just the longest days of the week. I just can't deal with the weekends because away from here. And yeah so moving on to uh another topic which i can't remember which other one i named but moving on to another topic um i would say okay school so school and kind of like working i am currently enrolled in school uh not taking too many classes, as many classes as I, as I wished because I didn't want to take them on and not be able to do the homework and not be able to just get the classes done right because I needed help and you have excuses which frankly they're not really excuses like I could have, I sat before I sat before I dropped them and thought about it like will I really have time to sit and do homework for this number amount of units and realistically I wouldn't have had time maybe if he was here to help like I don't know watch her for at least an hour or two a day so I can get homework done little by little because realistically as a mother you're not a, you're not able to just sit down and do homework one day until you're done because that's just not how it works 
so I didn't take them on. Um, it just, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it. Realistically, I know that sounds a little bit negative to you guys, and it sounds negative to me as well. And I know some of you guys will say, if you want to, you will. But just realistically, it was just too hard. So yeah, and another reason why I have been putting off getting a job is because I don't want to take, there's, it's so hard to find a job that is like convenient for my schedule, simply because I don't want to take time out of spending with Sophia because I know it's hard for her enough to have her dad away. Now just imagine me being at work all the time and her not being able to see her mom. That would just crush her. Or, you know, it's just really on her. Another reason why I haven't been, like why I've decided not to get a job is because if, so let's just put it this way. Whenever he comes down to visit, I want to be able to be there all day, even if it is for two, three, five days. I want to be here and spend all my time with him. And unfortunately, with the job, it's not that easy. If I work that day, then I'm just not going to be able to get it off just because my hubby came into town. They're not going to care. You know, that's really another reason why I have been putting it off. So that's just that's just my life right now guys so I chose that topic because I know a lot of girls are in the situation or on coming into a situation the same way and I don't know maybe you guys just would want some feedback or just take it as a story time or get to know my life insights of my life guys so yeah um, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here because I'm gonna go pick up Sophia and I'm sorry I didn't put her in this video or upload any clips of her. I do have some, but um, they're recorded um, the long way, so it's not going to look good in the video. But I will definitely try to record a video of her, an update on her, just so you guys can see her walking, how big she's got, and how much of a brat she's became, how smart she is. She is super smart, guys. She has so many words on her. So just, yeah. I will I will record another video for you guys just for so so to be on here so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy my channel I know it's not updated too often but I try I try guys so yeah thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe bye guys